Hello everyone and welcome back to part two of the three part tutorial for building a responsive home theater Ambilight. This part of the tutorial is going to include flashing your Node MCU, your ESP32 device, with the WLED firmware and setting it up to access your Wi-Fi. Uh, for it to begin, you're going to have to download the Node MCU Pi Flasher and also the WLED firmware. There'll be links for both of them down below in the description. So we start off by opening up NodeMCU Pi Flasher. Now, when I first opened this, it told me that I couldn't open it because it was a, an internet downloaded program. So if that does happen, just go to security and privacy on your Mac, if you're using a Mac, and you will just enable um, install applications from everywhere. But if you don't have that problem, it's a pretty straightforward process. We're going to go to the Air Cookie GitHub release page and we're going to download the version 0.10 of WLED. And what you want to do is you want to get the 8266 bin. And we'll just save that to downloads. And we're going to plug our Node MCU into one of the USB ports on your computer. In my case, I'm using a USB C to micro USB cord. It shouldn't matter either way. In Pi Flasher, your serial port will be the TTY with the USB connection, and your Node MCU firmware will be the new WLED bin you just downloaded. Now, when it comes to baud rate, you want the 115200, and I always tend to erase all data on the flash. Then all you have to do is hit Flash Node MCU, and you should see the following output, and then we just wait. When WLED boots for the first time, it creates its own AP that you can then connect to and set the settings for the Wi-Fi connection and everything else at first boot. So unplug the Node MCU and plug it back in, hit the little refresh and Pi Flasher to verify it's there, and then go to your phone and go to settings. We're going to connect to WLED AP. This will bring up a captive portal with WLED's settings. If you hit Wi-Fi settings, you will be able to enter your own personal SSID as well as the password for it. Afterwards, I like to set a static IP as well and in this case, I'm going to set 192.168.50.46. After you check out all of your network settings, go ahead and click Save and Connect. This will then have the Node MCU connect to your internal Wi Fi network. Now what we're going to do is we're going to open a browser and connect to our WLED front end. So if you open up, in my case Chrome, I'm just going to go to the IP that I just set, 192.168.50.46. And if everything worked, you should see the WLED web UI. And just like that, you're done with part two of your Ambilight build. Part 3 will integrate the Raspberry Pi and the Node MCU with your LED strips, giving you an experience that I honestly think enhances every single viewing opportunity. Thanks for watching, everyone, and be on the lookout for Part 3 coming out soon. Before you know it, you will have your own awesome home theater experience with a completely customizable Ambilight.